Hey guys, so today we are making cinnamon raisin bagels. Well, actually they're sourdough cinnamon raisin bagels because the other day I made sourdough bagels for the first time and they were really good. And so I wanted to try a different flavor. So for this recipe, we're gonna need two tablespoons of honey and the honey that I get is cream. So I'm just going to just warm it up a little bit so I'm just using the regular sourdough bagel recipe that I got from Farmhouse on Boone, which I'll link down if you guys want to check that out. Um, and then I am just going to make them into cinnamon raisin bagels. This is about a quarter cup, so it's a little bit double than um, what I'm supposed to be doing. But I figured since they're supposed to be like a little bit sweet anyway, I'm going to make them a little bit sweeter by putting more honey. So I'm just going to warm this up a little bit just to make it a little bit more liquidy so it's easy to pour in. So you need a half cup of sourdough starter, which is around 113 grams. So I'm just going to weigh it. Okay, and then you're going to put a cup of water in there, which is 236 grams. You need... 10 grams or about two teaspoons of salt. Just put it in until that goes into your tank. Now we're gonna add four cups of flour and it's gonna be really dense. Like you might not think that you're gonna get all the flour and you might not need it. So I'm gonna do three cups right now. Okay, we'll put maybe like a tablespoon of cinnamon. I don't actually have raisins. I was gonna get some, but I figured I have craisins. Um, so I'm gonna try this out so I don't have to buy raisins. I figured it'd be good because craisins are good, so Mom, it should be good. Mom, that is raisins. I know, we always call them raisins, but these are, these are dried cranberries. They're called craisins. Raisins are dried grapes, so they're a little bit different. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of these. You want to mix the dough until everything incorporates and comes off the side of the bowl and then add that last cup of flour a little bit at a time and once all the flour is in there let it mix for another 10 minutes until the dough forms a nice elastic -y ball so my dough is ready <laughs> and i'm just gonna keep it in here it smells so good i love the smell of cinnamon i'm just going to cover this with plastic wrap and then let this sit for around eight hours and at that time it's going to be pretty late well it's going to be like eight o'clock at night if i have time tonight i might divide them into like make them into the bagel shape and then put them in the fridge but that is a lot of space so i'll probably just end up just putting this in the fridge and then tomorrow morning i will take it out divide them into bagels let them rise for another hour to four hours I guess depends on how warm it is in here um and then I will bake them so I actually did end up dividing the dough that night because the next day I was having a Galentine's Day brunch with some of my friends and I figured I didn't want to be working on the dough that whole time and I wanted it to be ready for when we wanted brunch so I just divided the dough that night into eight equal-ish <laughs> pieces and then I just rolled them into the balls, flattened them out a bit and then I just poked a hole through the middle and kind of took my fingers and stretched it out a bit so that way when they rise the holes wouldn't just close up. So I put that in the fridge overnight and the next morning I took them out and got a pot of water boiling added a tablespoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of baking soda then i just stirred it a little bit and then added the bagels two at a time let that boil for a minute on the first side and then flipped it and then let it boil for another minute and then i just placed it back on the parchment lined baking sheet and then just kind of patted them dry with a paper towel then I preheated the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I took an egg wash and just brushed that over the bagels. 
Then I sprinkled a little bit of sugar on half of them just to experiment, I guess. I baked the bagels for about 20 minutes until they were nice and golden brown. And then we had these for that morning's breakfast. So they were nice and fresh. And they smelled so good coming out of the oven. After the bagels cooled down completely, I just put them all in a freezer bag and then froze them. So these ones are frozen now. That's what they look like. Not all of them look the greatest because I kept on stabbing them with the spatula while I was trying to flip them. So I had a Valentine's Day brunch on the day that I baked these um, these bagels. I will, I will warm it up for you, okay? And then you can have some. And then we all ate it with some cream cheese. I would definitely recommend these bagels. They are so good. And I don't know if they would be like even like better or worse than like ra with raisins. It tastes pretty much the same as like a cinnamon raisin bagel that you would get at Tim Hortons. Mm. It's so good. Mm. I hope you guys try out this recipe because it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I can eat these all the time. I do too. Let me know if you guys try out this recipe and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you guys want me to try to make into sourdough, then let me know. Yay! But bye bye! Oh, okay. <laughs> bye bye! Yeah, have a great week. Bye! Bye!